Hello everyone, um, I'm BadboyG316 uh, Today I'm here with the PS3 Racing Wheel 3 which is also called a Homi the Homie Wheel Racing Wheel this I got it for $60 at a game store Well first of all from this is a review so I'm gonna give my opinions first and some facts from the first look of it um it's gonna look like a fantastic good realistic racing wheel of course like any other racing wheel some people even expect it to perform like um gt force i think that's the racing wheel well i tried it out and in my opinion i don't like the way how it performs so, I just called up the game store that I bought it from, and they said it's okay that I could bring it back and get, like, a refund or exchange for it for a new game. So, on Thursday, I'm going to, well, today, I'm recording, this is Tuesday. On Thursday, I'm going to return it back. So, let me just go on with the review. Here go the foot pedals. They're not that big. Sorry. There's, like, like one foot could just go over both of them or something like and plus first of all the thing that really didn't in my opinion this is the thing that didn't turn on a lot of people for this product is the gear shift box like the little you know what I'm talking about but like how you use this stick and shift gears while um, I think that's something that a lot of people was not like interested in this product because of that and they so they so proclaim this is a dual analog foot pedal and yeah I tried this game out hold up I tried this game out on I mean I tried this accessory out on Grand Trimmers 5 I never recorded it on my PVR because I don't have that program to dual record like webcams or which I am recording this off of a webcam I don't have a program to dual record so the foot pedal the foot pedal they actually tell you that it's um is like an alter button like the foot pedal is X and this brake pedal is circle so that's just basically they're just giving you another controller and not an actual realistic simulation steering wheel and also this steering wheel is not compatible with Grand Chimino file like when you go into the settings you don't see it there you only see some other few wheels which is the main which is the main wheels that is compatible with Grand Chimino 5 like the GT Force and um and um like other stuff. Well, here go the wheel. The wheel. It's in my opinion, I think this is really good at detailed. The little detail right here, PlayStation button right here for the X and B. You could. Here, here go some direct pads and the good thing what I like about this is that in like real professional racing they have the little hand shift right here like this is down shift and over here is up shift now to connect these two there's a port right here right there and you basically just connect it and then next you take this USB cord and just connect it into the PS3. Then you play the game. Now it's not this is not like I don't know how other racing wheel works, but this one have these kind of I won't say I think these are like rubber feet or something. Like but whatever this is, it have a good like like suction onto the surface of whatever you're putting it on like glass of course wood of course 
um, basically any surface. But let me try it out. Let me get a. Hold up. Where is it? Uh. I basically tried this on this, which is a little wooden stool. Like this. So what I do, just press it down. And that's how it look right here. Hey, sorry about that. Some sheets in the background and stuff. So... From the looks of it, and a, or when you hear it, it have a powerful suction. When you plug it in, there's two lights right here. There's a red light and a green light. I don't know when the green light will ever comes on, but yeah. And also, when you start the race, I don't know how this will work, but here's my, like, when you use the wheel, like when you turn and stuff, you turn really slowly. Like you have to literally change your sensitivity all the way in order to get that little real simulator. But in my opinion, the reason why I don't like this, like I said in the beginning of the video, is because when you turn up the sensitivity to all the way to like 7 or... Yeah, the 7 on Grand Trims 5. The car only turns slightly, no matter if you turn it, like, all the way over. Like, all the way over. And, yeah. Another thing is that this will not work. I'm just warning you from now. This does not work in Need for Speed. Because I tried this on Need for Speed Shift, which is right here. Right here. And it didn't work. Basically, when I was using the up and down shift, the up shift is actually to drive the car. And like the left shift was to like stop the car. And also, the steering wheel didn't work in Need for Speed Shift. Well, that's my review. In my opinion, I'll give this a 4 out of 10. The reason why, um, it's not that compatible with much games in my range so far, I should say. Detail is nice, just to attract people to buy it, of course. And, um, that's it. The foot pedal, it's really not that sensitive. You have to push your foot down all the way in order for the car to go. Like, you can't ease it, like, a little, and it, the car goes a little. The brakes, um, I don't think the brakes is that good. Well, this is enough of talking, and I'm going to do a review so people can look at it. Thanks for watching my video, subscribe, rate, comment, or whatever, leave your reaction down below, yep, so thanks for watching, I'm going to be streaming, like, desktop games, like off of Steam, Gary Ma, Team Fortress 2, World of Warcraft, so, you can come on there, watch, I'm going to stream about every Wednesday now, maybe, so, be there, and if you're in the stream, comment so I can know you're there. And even if so, we might gonna have some special events for making, I'm gonna be making themes with people, so be there to get a theme or a wallpaper. And thanks for watching, and bye.